You know, if I didn't know any better, I'd say Jax is ready to rock and roll already this morning. You ready, buddy? Is that your spot? You my little navigator, Tom Tom? Eye on the GPS coordinates? Okay, here we go. Now, today's a big day. <clears throat> You'll probably already know where I'm going by the title of the video, but I don't know for sure where I'm going today. And I'm also testing out the brakes, doing a uh, 300 some mile trip just to test them out because I don't know yet. So I hope we have a good day. I can't turn left here, guys. Hmm. Heading out of Missoula today. Not going east or west, though. Jax and I are going to be going straight north for a 300 mile round trip expedition to check the brakes. Of course, I will be easy and always be downshifting. Uh, when possible, but we got to go make sure that the brakes are okay. Yeah, doing a lot of climbing as we're going up 93 north to get up there. Haven't done a whole lot of down down inclines but I keep uh, down shifting when they get the chance pulled in here to this little scenic spot and uh, brakes still seem good so I mean holding my breath but well hell no danger rattlesnakes yeah I'll, I'll pass on that Montana usually I think this is a really amazing viewpoint here but a lot of smoke that low low peak fire is affecting a lot of areas that's what the locals were telling me that's what we're that's the smoke we're seeing here in this part of Montana this year is from the low low fire this little thing talks about some of the structures they've made uh, to help animals cross because I don't really know how to say this but as you're driving down the highway like a lot of the lot of the roadway is stained dark red you can tell there have been a lot of accidents with wildlife and vehicles and so they built these bridges that go over or underneath i've also seen them underneath but we drove past one it was a really long one actually like maybe a hundred yards long for the animals to go over and then they built big fences and i guess some animals still are able to jump those big fences but at least they're doing their part to, to try here in montana to keep them safe and keep them happy I'm aiming for Glacier National Park, obviously I've just figured out by the title of this video, although I don't know what to expect. All the campgrounds are full up there, they said they fill up six months in advance. Now how would anyone like me know where I'm going to be six months in advance? I don't even know where I'm going to be tomorrow, or tonight. But the plan here is I'm going on the right side of uh, Flathead Lake there, and I want to camp somewhere remotely near the entrance, and then scoot into the forest. The uh, uh, park, I mean. So I don't know what I'm going to find. I'm just going to keep my eyes peeled. Uh, I, and yeah, I'll we'll see where we go from here. Flathead Lake. It's a massive, massive lake. I mean, actually, it kind of rivals Puget Sound in a lot of ways, and it's, it's freshwater. Every once in a while, you will see a helicopter drop down, uh, grab water, and they're going every direction. I've already seen three take off in different directions, so there must be a lot of fires up here right now. I know using lake water to put out a fire is nothing new. I mean, Superman does it, takes the whole lake with him, puts the fire out, so. It's not unique or anything, but look how darn clear this water is here at Flathead. And it's 100% glacier fed. It is cold. Hopefully we're going to see some more glacier fed lakes here later today. But yeah, I don't want to pop the drone. I was thinking about it and then when I saw the helicopters and they're doing their emergency fire, I'm not, even though we're not near an airport, I just don't feel it's safe because those helicopters are flying really low. But I can get back on the road. I was going to camp uh, down here on the Yellowstone River. I decided to park the RV and walk. I don't know if you can see the road. It wasn't going to happen in my RV though. This is the ruts and the condition of the road. I mean, I would have just bottomed out. 
It's a really, really rough road through there. Darn it, it's a great spot back there, but I can't get my RV back there safely. But there's a spot to pull off on the other side of the river, so I'll pull over there and show you what I was eyeing at least. There we go, this one's a little more friendly, you might say. Uh, dirt, gravel, instead of sand. So, uh, I'm parked there, Yellowstone River, right here. People out there uh, in their kayak. I think that's a pretty good idea. I don't see any signs that say you can't camp right here, so. Boy, uh, about 82 degrees right now. Water looks pretty darn cold. Um, I'm gonna park here for the day at least and then uh, decide what I wanna do later. So, I'm gonna unhook the scooter. I'll show you guys how easy that is. I got a lot of requests. Eric, you've shown us how you load it like three times, not shown us how, how you do it by yourself unloading it. So I will show you that procedure. Then uh, I'll lock up the RV, keep Jack safe. I'm gonna scoot to the entrance of uh, West Glacier National Park. It's about seven miles from here where I'm camping. So that should make it easier to park and explore. Kind of had that problem at Mount Rainier National Park as far as just no place to park the RV, nowhere to really park a car. You can park a scooter anywhere and go explore. So I'll bring the camera along and that should work. What? You're so pitiful. You are so pitiful. Are you starving? You're starving? Do you want food? Do you want num nums? Are you hungry? That was a delayed reaction. Let's get some food in your belly, okay? You're, 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 you're clearly starving here. Is that pretty good then? All right, you got yours. I got mine, leftover pizza from yesterday, nuked up in the microwave. Get some uh, food in my belly, and then we'll take the camera outside, and I will show you how I unload the scooter. Okay, so before I pull the scooter off, you can see I've added a couple new straps, just for extra safety, to the rear end. So, grabbing it here, putting it here, as well as on the other side, going from this mount down under, just gives me extra support. I think these two straps up here were enough, but, but think about it. If one of these fails, there is no backup. So by having these, now I always have a backup in case one of these fails at some point or something breaks or something happens. Uh, it's always great to have a backup. So I'll show you how I unload this bad boy. Until I get this back tire onto the rail, it's a little tricky. I gotta put some force into it, but it's still a one man operation. I'm just gonna feather the brake up here to give me a little more control as I back it up. Stop periodically to make sure I'm still lined up. Make the corrections up here as I need. Easy peasy. Simple. I think I might be the only person bringing a scooter into Glacier, Na Glacier National Park. Check it out. That's right, scooting right along. Woo! So I stopped in here at the Apgar Visitor Center, right here at the uh, West Glacier entrance. Got some information. I got my magnet. Isn't that a cool looking magnet? It wants to focus on my face, but there, yeah. I like that a lot. I uh, got some information about the trail. It's uh, 100 miles to get through the park. Uh, I get about I think I get about 99 miles on a tank, so obviously I can't even do the whole park. That's okay. I'm gonna do half of it and then turn around before I run out of gas. So there's a couple little quick turnoffs and stuff. I'm gonna keep it moving to keep it cool and uh, share as much of this park as I can with you guys. It'll be fun. Yeah, look at that water down there. Look how clear that is. You can see the rocks and everything. It says that this lake here uh, never exceeds 64 degrees year round. <laughs> wow. It looks like Key West to me. That teal color. Yeah, a little smoky out there still. Now believe me guys, I didn't want to share anything negative with this park. I've made it five miles. We have been sitting here parked for 22 minutes now. Not a single car has come past this way. It's one, I'm five miles into the park and nobody can move, nobody can, the whole park's just shut down for construction. So, they did warn us that there could be up to hour long delays here today. So, I don't know. 
I don't know. I'm just, I'm just baking here in the sun for no reason. Nobody's moving in this park anywhere. About to give up. So I'm just filming on my iPhone now. It has been 37 minutes. This thing, I, I don't know how many miles it's backed up. Still, not a single car in the other lane has passed us. Not a single car. So, Glacier National Park in August? Maybe not. This is miserable. This is disgusting. <laughs> It's been 55 minutes, I'm out of here. You know, I'm sorry, but that's really poor management by the Park Service. Really, really poor management. So, <laughs> four miles back on the loop was just nice. I'm one mile from the entrance now. I'm just gonna walk down to the water instead because there's no way me or anybody is gonna make it through this park today. Uh, it's 100 miles, and they said there are three more of those. She says, I asked her too, and she said, well, we're estim it's supposed to be no longer than 50 minutes. And I'm like, you realize it's been 55 minutes since I've been parked, and you're still not even bringing cars the other way yet. Well, uh, yeah, things happen. Got too busy today. Yeah, well then, <laughs> you guys take all our money. <laughs> you're real quick to take all our money, but if you can't, I don't know. Not my intention to be in a bad mood, so. Here's the lake, here's the one lake that I can visit here at the National Park. The one lake that anybody can visit right now. So, I think I'm just gonna scoot back seven miles, go see Jax, hang out at the river with my cat instead, cause uh, that's just a bummer. It's a real bummer. I hope your experience here at the park was better than mine. Don't come here in the summer. That's what they do all their business though. I don't get it. I don't get it. It is beautiful though. I just don't want to get all wet and have to get back on the scooter, so I'll wait till I get back to the other river. Did I call it the Yellowstone earlier? It's not the Yellowstone, it's the the Fork something river. I don't know what I called it before. Weird. Brain fart. Okay, scoot back over to the RV. I'm saddened it didn't work out at Glacier National Park, but uh, what can I really say? I mean, if you guys want to try it, that's cool. Uh, Four of those over an hour a piece, just sitting there parked in the sun. I wasn't even gonna spend a total hour around the park. No way I'm gonna spend four or five hours parked. Not worth it to me. So we'll try it again some other time. We'll save it for another time when they're not doing construction. I'm gonna get in that water. <laughs> I'm gonna. Uh, no, no overnight parking where I was at. So no GPS coordinates below that spot by the Flathead River. I think I called it Yellowstone earlier. It's a Flathead River. So I'm moving on. Actually, uh, my buddy Ken is down in Kalispell. Said there's a spot to park. I just pulled off the highway here off Highway 2 because this giant bald eagle is going to take my RV. Yeah. <laughs> it's huge. This is a trailer store. I don't know why they have a giant metal bald eagle. But hey, got me to turn off and look, right? <laughs> so we'll head on down here. Um, actually gonna close this video out, but the shop co in Kalispell got this information from Ken. You can go in and ask the manager to stay one night. You can't stay at the Walmart in town. So uh, by that time I will have put on 155 miles on these new brakes. So may have fixed the problem here, guys. I'm thinking about going east, continuing on this journey, and I'm really excited. So. Uh, yeah, Jax and I'll catch you in a couple days on the road. Bye-bye. Hey guys, this is Jax, my kitty cat. I'm his servant, Eric. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel here on RVing. If you like the video, give us a thumbs up below. Make sure you subscribe, check out all our other videos, and keep following us on the road. Thanks, guys.